All right, so James and I are gonna try something a little different today. We're gonna challenge our brains here. We came up with a little, this is really stupid, a, re a really stupid little game. I have a timer here, which is a 30 second timer that I took out of some board game. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna flip the timer and James will have 30 seconds to talk about a game and it could be any game. And we're gonna go back and forth and then he's gonna give me one. So for example, I might say, James talk about, um, you know, Back to the Future on NES and then he has 30 seconds to say everything he can for 30 seconds and, tr and try, to, try to last 30 seconds and then think of things to say about it. And the more um, probably as obscure a game gets, it might get a little more difficult, so it might get stupid, and we might say stupid things. So that's yeah, the, yeah. that's the idea. It's basically just whatever is off the top of your head about a game. So <laughs> this is like we actually played something in, in college one time. Like one time you were just like, say anything, say everything you can about the Twilight Zone in one minute or something like that. Oh, have we we've done this before in college? <laughs> a little, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. All right, and I got the timer. I'm gonna flip the timer. And I guess I'll be keeping track of time. All right, get ready. Bible Buffet. Okay, Bible Buffet. That was a game made by uh, is uh, Wisdom Tree or Color Dreams or whatever. It's one of those baby blue cartridges, I think, although there might be a black cart version of it. Um, it's like a board game game where you go around and there's a little like uh, there's a little spinny dial thing. Uh, it's a religious game. You have to answer questions uh, about the Bible. That sounds really fun, doesn't it? And uh, yeah, there's there's like food land and vegetable land and uh, time's up. Yeah, actually, this game is really fun too. The board game part. I remember it's like it was actually like more fun than you'd expect. All right, uh, all right. I gotta give you one now. Let me just think about uh, what am I gonna give you. All right, I'm I'm I got it. Okay. Ready and Mega Man X. Omega Man X. Well, everybody thought it was 10, I guess, but it's really X, and it's a different Mega Man character. It, it, the, the character's name is X. There, it was on Super Nintendo. Uh, first time playing a 16-bit Mega Man. It's really good. It's uh, this side-scrolling action, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, very fun. Uh, <laughs> lots of cool explosions. Um, Lots of new characters. Time's up. I like that okay. you're like, it's very good, it's very fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. All right, uh, give me one second. Sure. So I'm gonna like pick things that I have here. Okay, maybe maybe I should do that too. I'm gonna grab a couple of things. Okay. Oh. All right, I'm good when you are. Okay, so here you go, ready? Yeah. Primal Rage. Okay, Primal Rage. Uh, Primal Rage is a fighting game. Uh, I think you and I played a little bit of a remake that was on Xbox One when it came out, or am I, th I might be thinking of something else, but um, I uh, am I thinking of the game that has uh, Spinal in it, or am I thinking of something? Oh, not at all. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, what, what, the hell? what am I thinking of? I'm thinking of Killer Instinct. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Go on. Uh, uh, well, now I'm fucked because that's I, that's what I, happens. I had the wrong game in my head. Yeah, no, that, I, that, that's I, what I, happens. I lost that one. Okay, yeah, I mean that. See, that happens like when it's off the top of your head. My you know. brain was saying Killer Instinct. Yeah, yeah, but you you knew then you figured it out. Yeah, like at least I figured it out halfway through. Yeah, this I, I but I'm holding the box up and the box is not in good shape. But uh, I was like, I was so, like, so, as I was saying it, I was like, this isn't right. Yeah, yeah, but do, do you know though? Like now, do you know or? Like, no, what Primal the game Rage. Is? It was like a fighting game with dinosaurs, right? Yeah, the dinosaurs. We should do that fate... for a video because um... we we really should because there's a fatality in this game where the where uh, they they piss on you, <laughs> and then and then you melt. So like this game was like fucked up when it came out. It was like holy shit. Um. So anyway, this is gonna okay. I'm gonna try this. This is a newer game. I know you've at least played it once. Um, but you know, maybe you can give it a shot. This is Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, I, I actually just played Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, of course, I'm only like two hours into the game, which is nothing. I was disappointed that it starts in the snow. I, 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 I didn't like that. I wanted more like hot, dry deserts and stuff. That comes later. I, I finally just got to the part where it becomes open world. 
because that's all I wanted. I just want an open world game where you can just go and fuck around. Time's up. I would highly recommend the first Red Dead over the second one, actually. Oh, like, would you really? Okay. Yeah. Um, that's a whole nother topic, but I, I played a lot of the second one, and I, I like the first one a lot better. How, how so, actually? Um, basically, like, there was just a lot of annoying things in the second one, and it takes, like, a really, really, really long time to, like, get going in the second one, yeah. where the first yeah. one gets going a little bit quicker, and it's just... Okay. I, just the pacing of the first one is just, like, way fucking better. It, it, it's just a better game. All right, you want me to give you one? All right, so let's do a, a Sega Genesis game. It's The Revenge of Shinobi. Okay, Revenge of Shinobi uh, is um, uh, a really cool game. So James is talking about The Revenge of Shinobi. In my head, I immediately thought of uh, Shinobi 3, which is my favorite of the series. And then there's also Shadow Dancer, which is also cool. The original I have a little bit more of a hard time with, but it's a um, it's very different than Ninja Gaiden. It... Uh, it it's a little i found it to be like a, a little bit clunky but it's a game i need to like play a little bit more to uh get better at and my time is up uh here you go this is for super nintendo sim city oh boy i love sim city oh it's one of my favorite super nintendo games you just build a city uh you build your electrical uh lines you have to get your city all functioning and then you have to the residential commercial zones and uh you watch it grow and then you get those little gifts like the amusement park you can put in and then you you uh get to watch the population go up and uh i always used to run out of money all the time then you have to do that trick where you get all your money money code okay cool it's a great game yeah so i okay i got one for you um all right ready yeah all right uh solar jetman on nes Okay, Solar Jetman on NES, I think that is the game with the little, like, uh, like, spaceship that's like a little egg thing flying around, and it's really, yeah. it's really, like, a very difficult game, I have a hard time with it, and you gotta kinda, like, uh, uh, float, like, around and, like, not smash into the walls, um, and you're like shooting stuff like that's on like the surface of the walls and basically like just like sort of rocketing around this little egg type thing yeah yeah that game's hard uh my time's up <laughs> okay it's very frustrating yeah yeah okay. all right so you got one for me let's see if you can do this one all right here we go i'm gonna flip the thing and for nes bionic commando Oh yeah, so Bionic Commando is a really good one. Um, the the main weapon in it, I think, is like sort of like a grappling hook where you can grapple onto the ceiling. It's a side scroller. I'm gonna say it's it's either Capcom. It's Capcom. It is Capcom. Okay. And um, yeah, I mean, you jump around and you grapple on the things. It's a little different. Like, it takes a little time to get used to, like how the grapple works. But uh, it's it's a good tricky side scroller. I. I from what I remember, it, it's pretty good. Time's up. All right, so here is a game on Game Boy. It's called Hattress. Hattress, okay. Jeez. Well, I'm not sure if I played so much of the Game Boy version, but I know that I played the NES game, and Hattress is kind of like a... Jeez, like a uh, Yoshi or Yoshi's Cookie or, I don't know, like maybe sort of Dr. Mario type game, uh, I guess where uh, it's basically they use different hats and I think you gotta match up hats like you gotta match up top hats or you gotta match up uh, fedoras or whatever and, <laughs> and that's that's all I got time's up yeah I never played it but looking at the screenshots on the box it, it seems pretty accurate alright this is for NES Life Force Oh yeah, Life Force is awesome. That's a, a shoot 'em up game, or like a, a shmup, I guess you call them, where you're flying around and you're shooting stuff, kind of like great Gradius or R type. It's by Konami. Um, you basically at the end of each stage, there's a really big boss. I remember there's one where it's like a brain with some eyes or something like that. Um, really cool boss battles. Um, yeah, really good shooter. Um, gee, I mean, you you go right and you shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Time's up. That was good. Yeah. Okay, get ready. All right, Mega Man 5. Okay, Mega Man 5 is the rarest Mega Man game that's on NES. Uh, also, it's very it's one of the rarest Game Boy games, Mega Man 5. Mega Man 5 
uh, is my least favorite on NES. I feel like th they were trying to put out a Mega Man game like every single year, and I felt by that point they were kind of getting a little burnt out, and it was kind of just like, all right, another Mega Man game, what do we got now? Because I, I felt like the music wasn't as good, the characters weren't as interesting, it was just, I think that's the weakest entry on the NES, and my time's up. Okay, you can try this. This one's gonna be. This is probably the hardest one I might have here. So I'm gonna give it to you. Um, but you. But I know you played it. So ready. This is for PlayStation Two. This is Burnout Three Takedown. Oh wow! Was this that? It was that racing game. Yeah. Yeah, it was a racing game. It was really realistic. Um, that is all I remember. You just race. <laughs> yeah. Nothing else. Ah, oh, I, I just remember you're in, you're in cars, you're on the road, you're racing. That's well, that's all true. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can think of. I mean, I can't remember of any any other uh, aspects of it, but I just, it had good graphics and sound. And what's what's cool about it is like when the cars hit like other cars, and when you hit things, it kind of goes into like a slow motion thing. So like, yeah, it's actually very realistic. If you've been in a car accident, it, it's it's very realistic to like how it looks when you're in a like a smash up like that, which, which sucks. I mean, it's not something you want to relive, but right. I, for them getting it right in the game, I mean, it, you got to give them credit. So you ready for me to give you one? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Okay. So, uh, ready the NES game Atlas. The NES game Atlas. Is that a book? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that book is like, does it have a black cover? No, uh, it, it's basically like it's got the maps of all the games. It was an official Nintendo Power like strategy guide. Right. I think I might have it. Uh, that's all I remember. It's just a, it's just a book, and then it has like a, <laughs> it has like information about old games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that's I mean it's correct. Oh, uh, apparently my time's up. So okay, all right. Yeah, I mean yeah, definitely was gonna throw throw you off guard with that one. But uh... <laughs> I was like. What? <laughs> Yeah, that, maybe funny. I should have at least just said it's a book before I gave you. Well, that was the only thing I could think of to say, so I'm glad he didn't. Know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I got one. All right. Clay Fighter. What fighter? Clay Fighter. Oh, Clay Fighter. Yeah, so the characters are all like Clay. There's like an Elvis guy. There's the Blob. There's a Scarecrow guy. Uh, it, it's a cool game. I always like the Blob because he turns into a razor blade um, or a buzzsaw or whatever. And... Uh, he just, uh, it, it was cool because it was kind of like, like a gory fighting game, but it's not gory because they're all clay. So it was kind of like a, I guess like a more kid friendly version of Mortal Kombat. Time's up. You did it. All right. Here's one for you here. Okay. All right. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. A Poland spring bottle of water. Okay, Poland Spring bottle of water is something <laughs> that you ingest into your body, and then eventually it turns into urine, and you piss it out. Um, I actually prefer to drink uh, Poland Spring. It's it's funny to think that different types of water and brands of water can taste different, but they do. I like Poland Spring, and I like it a hell of a lot more than Dasani, because Dasani is made by Coca-Cola, and they put... Uh, they put like fucking salt and shit into it, and I and I don't like that. And half the fucking places that you go in the world only have the sani, and it pisses me off. So yeah, I'm all about Poland Spring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I, ideal actually. Uh, I I think I have a filter where like I actually usually don't drink any bottle of water. I just drink from the filter. But um, I have the bottle right here because I have a lot of uh, water bottles that I haven't uh, drank. Usually it's for like if you're leaving the house or something, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Those are my thoughts on water. All right, you want to well, talk more about you want to talk more about water or? You wanna... <laughs> <laughs> I like James okay. to give me anything now. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's let, let's go. I, I got one for all you. Right. All right, I am holding in front of me right now, and I'm I'm about to flip this thing. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Um. Post-it notes. Oh, post-it notes. Well, uh. <laughs> Uh, I like them. I like post-it notes. I, um, I, 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 I stick them on things and write on them. <laughs> I mean, I, I, yeah, I use, I use them a lot. Like, I, I mean, I don't use them usually to, like, memorize things. It's more like, um, like, sometimes I put them, I, I have a physical calendar, and I like to put, stick, like, small sticky notes on the calendar so that I can move things around. 20 seconds left. 
Yeah, oh, really? Jeez. Um, they, oh, I like when they come in different colors, so I actually color code like certain things. Like if I'm if I'm filming AVGN that day, like it'll be a, a different color than a day where I film James and Mike. So that's what I uh, like to do. That's how I, mo I I operate on my physical calendar. Like four uh, more I'm seconds. Not as much. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, sticky notes are good. Don't let your kids find a sticky note because then they end up just like they waste all of them they just take every single one of them off and stick them all over the place and um scribble on them and stuff and um all right 28 seconds left damn no. 28 <laughs> seconds i'm just i'm just fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> all right so that that's it that that's the game it's yeah. just it's stupid yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if we, if we do it again, I'll try to come up with some more, uh, like, funny ones. This would actually probably be really fun to do with movies, you know, depending on the movie. Like, if I said to you, you know, like, Empire Strikes Back, you'd probably be able to talk for an hour. So you'd have to pick the right movies, but... Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, all game. right. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah, how do you want to end it? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe, uh...